Yes, sir. So, bros, Cam Newton ruffled some feathers last week, and it's just hilarious because the man just stated his preference and what he's looking for in a woman. That's singular, not plural. He didn't state that he wanted women to do this or women should do that or women need to stay away from this. Making stipulations like feminists do because nobody wants to talk about how feminists say that women should do this. Feminists say that women should be able to dress like that, this, that and the third because it's empowering. We never want to talk about feminists in that way that we're going to attack a black man for basically stating his preference. Neither here nor there. Yet. Cam Newton, we already know that he's a polarizing figure. He used to start for the Carolina Panthers. It is what it is when it comes to that. He's looking for a job. We already know that good stuff. But the man is going from a podcast. He's going to a podcast to talk about relationships and whatnot, minding his business. Why is this all over the media, social media, tabloids, gossip sites, sports debate talk shows? You got sports debate talk shows talking about Cam Newton as if they don't have enough to talk about. The NBA playoffs, PGA golf tour, Tiger Woods. The list goes on. You want to talk about Cam Newton and his one preference for women. They're not doing the backstory if he had bad relationships or whatever and whatnot. Not to digress, but it's just a joke on how everything around us is just getting down. ESPN, Fox Sports, they're actually talking about what Cam Newton has to say on a podcast with a rapper that they don't even know. That being Gilly the Kid. Let's be honest. In this situation right here, right? When I hit the black space on YouTube or whatever it may be, I never heard of the word divest. That's when a black woman wants to divest from the black man and, and explore her options. She wants to white water raft and jump out of airplanes with the Caucasian man. She wants to eat curry with the Indian man. Fried chicken wings and wontons with the China man. Explore her options because the black man is disenfranchised. The black man is left behind. Bottom of the totem pole. The black man can't do anything for himself. According to these idiots. You got these idiots on the internet that actually have a page solely directed to trashing black men. Your page wouldn't exist, bitch, if it wasn't for black men. You wouldn't exist at all, bitch, if it wasn't for black men. Neither here nor there. You got this bozo who actually divested, Kayla Nicole. You have to you have to address her as Travis Kelsey's girlfriend because you wouldn't know her otherwise. You got black men, you got black women divesting from black men, yet in the back of their mind, and yet every single day they wish they could get a black man that they actually want, but that's not the case. Why are you divesting, but yet you still care what black men got to say, what black men feel? Shouldn't you be concerned about your man? That Caucasian man that plays in the NFL? Because let's be honest, bros. Both of these individuals view each other as trophies. This chick, Kayla Nicole, if you look her up, she's doing nothing but showing what she's working with. And Travis Kelsey, the dude that's wearing the costume, probably singing along with rap songs, TD celebrations and whatnot. He's holding her like a trophy. Like, look at me. I got a sister. List goes on. But who really gives a shit? Only shallow dudes really care about shit like that. And shallow chicks want to holler when they're hurt because a hurt dog going to holler every single time. The man said a couple of things, but all of these bozos are going to pick out the one thing that they don't want to do and that they can't do. And that's cook. You can't boil water, can't fry eggs, DoorDash, Uber Eats. Nobody cares about that. If you're Travis Kelsey and you're messing with this chick, you got to ask yourself, because it's a major red flag. Why is she so concerned about what this one man who just so happens to be a brother? Why is she so concerned about what this man is stating his preferences are? Having conversations with yourself on Twitter and then you wonder why there's no rock on your finger. These are the same chicks that think they could keep a man by slinging that vagina every night. Yet, there's other things that got to come into play that they just don't get. They listen to all of this bozo music. They become disciples of City Girls, Cardi B's, Meg the Mail Horse, ETC, and they feel like they could get down with that. If you don't want to get down with that, you could get lost. These are the type of things they say, but who cares? Like I said, Travis Kelsey, if this is your chick, why is she so triggered about what another man says unless what that man says and how that man feels really is what she really cares about because she wants a brother that resembles a Cam Newton. 
a polarizing brother that's in the league or can get into the league that has status and whatnot. That's what they really want. They can't get the black man that they really want. So they go ahead and go for a substitute, a replacement. <laughs> Let's dive into this article, man. Travis Kelsey's girlfriend, Kayla Nicole, rips into Cam Newton and calls him a bozo over his controversial comments about women. No doubt. All right, man. This is this is what the brother said. Let's check it out. I had a, a perfect, a perfect example of what a man was in my life by my father. Mm -hmm. My parents have been together for 36, 37 years now, and it's, and it's a beautiful thing. Uh, I grew up in a three-parent household, my mom, my father, and my grandmother. And uh, I knew what a woman was, not a bad bitch. Okay, what's the difference? A woman. Okay. A bad bitch is a person who's just, you know, girl, I'm a bad bitch, you know, I'm doing yeah. this, I'm doing that. I, 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 I looked apart, but I don't act apart. Okay. You know, and it's a lot of women who are bad bitches. And I say bitches in, in, in a way not to degrade a woman, but just to 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 go off the aesthetic of what they deem is a boss chick. Mm -hmm. Now, a woman for me is handling your own, but knowing how to cater to a man's needs, mm -hmm. right? And I think a lot of times when you get that aesthetic of like, I'm a boss bitch, like I'm a this, I'm a dad. No, baby, like, but you can't cook. Okay. You don't know, you don't know when to be quiet. You mm -hmm. don't know how to allow a man to lead. Now, what was so controversial about what Cam Newton just stated? Let's just peel back the onion real quick. Because brothers see this on their stories, they feeds, the workplace, classrooms, world star the list goes on these women can make songs videos trash and dudes nobody gives a shit about it hell first take even brought meg the male horse on the panel one time <laughs> you know what i'm saying just because she's a woman a black woman you know how they get catered to you know how they get their back rubbed until they burp not to digress the man said all of these chicks talking about, I'm a bag, bitch, Birkin bags, holla at me. If he ain't got enough, throw him back to the streets. We hear all of this goofy rhetoric. All of these chicks that want to be treated like a traditional wife, yet they don't have any qualities. All they do is look good. All they are are dime pieces. You don't think that Cam Newton knows this? You don't think that Cam Newton is going to learn from his mistakes? A good amount of dudes don't learn from their mistakes. They keep chasing the dime pieces that have nothing to offer but ass. The dime pieces that are getting their DMs flooded. The dime pieces that are getting basically told yes all the damn time. Are getting coddled every damn time. So they don't understand how to take accountability when they fuck up because they never think it's their fault. The chicks that want to order Uber Eats, DoorDash because they're too busy on their cell phone in group chats and whatever it is having silly ass banter talking about nothing so many people want to get triggered the man said do you know how to cater to a man's needs so many women get triggered when they hear submissive and whatnot as if the man walks through the door you take his shoes off and rub his feet <laughs> that's not the case how about you have a good conversation with the dude pick his brain for once hear him out if he needs to be heard out, if he needs to be heard, if the man is frustrated, a lot of these boss bitches and whatnot, they will make the man more frustrated because he's frustrated. Does that make any sense? You walk into the house after five or whatnot, you're frustrated from coming from work, whatever it may be, whatever happened at work and whatnot. You go to your chick, you just want to go ahead and chill. The chick is mad that you're frustrated. It's only so many times that you can mask your real feelings. But if you're with your significant other, she's supposed to be able to understand that. These chicks are narcissistic by nature. And then the music and the entertainment and then their bozo, equally dysfunctional friends does not help the equation. These wonderful women, far and few between. We're not talking about them right now. Because the women that are in situations or the women that actually have something to do, they're not triggered by what Cam Newton said. They know that's the truth. For the most part, 
It's the bozos that are full around, that are all around yes men, betas and simps and whatnot, that are just sitting there on a pine pony waiting for their name to get called. They don't understand the situation. They feel like Cam Newton's bugging because he's talking that old fashioned shit. He got to get with the times. Men got to cook now, too. Shit like that. But you got men learning how to cook and they could cook better than women. So they're like, damn, I don't need a woman. You feel me? Not to digress, but it goes back to an episode in The Sopranos when Tony and his wife was going through it or whatever. A little riffraff. The dude comes home. He's expecting a home cooked meal because there's nothing better than that. She says, oh, there's takeout tonight. If you would have saw the look on his face of disgust, that <laughs> nothing adds up to that. Bros, have you ever had a chick say, we don't have to go out or whatever, I'll cook something? Do you understand what that means? Do you understand a chick actually putting in the effort to just say, let's scratch the date night. The date could be over here, whether regardless of where she's at, she's putting in the effort to cook you something. All you got to do is just go ahead and get the liquor or the wine and whatnot. Reimburse her for the groceries. If that you feel me, chicks get it. You either get it or you don't at this point. You know what I'm saying? We don't got to ring around the rosy when it comes to this situation. But so many bozos are actually getting triggered because they want to pick out the one thing the man said. Do you know how to be quiet? Evidently not. Doesn't matter if it's on Twitter or a phone call or in person. You don't know how to be quiet. A lot of women don't know how to shut up. A lot of people want to be heard just for the sake of being heard. They love hearing their voice. Makes no sense. <laughs> And allowing a man to lead is just what the man is supposed to do because a man that's tailing behind you is not a man at all. That's another one of the girls. You know what I'm saying? Running behind you. That's like one of these bozos running behind these chicks with the air horns at these protests. What are you actually doing, bro? Running behind these lesbians and these women that got the battery in their back talking about protect us. Shit like that. Ain't no men leading these marches. And if they're men leading the marches, they're homosexual. Not to digress, but like I said, a man is supposed to lead, bro. Let's be real. Let's check this out. So now this bozo goes, a lot of y'all want to be with your mama, and it shows. Isn't this a catch-22, double-edged sword, bro? Because this will be the same chick that once you say, yo, nah, man, I ain't fucking with you. What they going to ask you? Oh, you must not love your mother. You must not have any sisters. So which was so which one is it, bitch? <laughs> now I want to be with my mama just because I said that I grew up in a house with my mother, father, and grandmother. Now I want to be with my mother because I saw what a woman is, how a woman gets down, how she treats her man and whatnot. Now I want to be with my mother, right? Come on, man. Make it make sense to me. And it's always sisters that's always doing this dumbass banter. The obsession with women being able to cook is truly comical because it's like if your palate is so superior, date a Michelin star chef than Bozo. Pretty sure the average woman is capable of et making edible food. How do you think she survived thus far? All right, let's go down the list. The average woman has survived thus far because she has a job. Because she has an Uber account, DoorDash account, local pizzeria within walking distance of the local bar. So she could get some tapas or happy hour and some wine. The list goes on. These women are not cooking for the most part, bro. Let's be real. But this chick is with another man, Travis Kelsey. Why is she on Twitter having conversations about herself? <laughs> the man said, do you know how to be quiet? Do you know how to hold your own? Do you know how to let a man lead? Do you know how to let a man lead? Can you, do you know how to cater to a man's needs? That's not saying rub the man's feet all the damn time. Give him top. That's that can help, of course. That can help, but not all the damn time. Rub his back every damn minute. It's not even like that. You're not a subservient chick. Nobody's even looking for that. We already know that chicks ain't really down for that for the most part. For the most part. But you can tell that this chick is not going to be a wife anytime soon. All she's doing is walking around with her good looks and her little bit of ass because that's all you see when she's taking a pic. Travis Kelsey's in the background looking like a dummy with that dazed look on his face like, yeah, I'm just with this chick until my career is done or whatever and whatnot. Who knows? 
But this chick need to be worried about how can she become a wife to Travis instead of worrying about what this man's preferences is. That's what's wrong with so many women. They're so engraved in social media that it's not even funny, bro. Like social media defines so many women that it's a joke. Like they go on the social media. They look for all of these posts and whatever and whatnot and fake ass advice that's going to stroke their ego. Yet it's not helping them whatsoever. It's not helping them with their relationship. It's not helping them become a better person. You're listening to toxic advice. Stroke your ego. If he ain't buying you this, if he ain't paying for this, if he ain't doing that, kick him to the curb. Leave him to the streets. There's no advice talking about, hey, homegirl, maybe you should be doing that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> not now, not ever, man. This bitch having a conversation with herself. It's not really a matter of can she cook. It's more like does she want to cook for your hungry hippo ass? <laughs> That man ain't had a job in months. He has nothing but time to be quiet and get that ass in the kitchen. I promise you this. Bet money that this chick has not had a job since she's been dating Travis Kelsey. Like a good amount of these chicks that want to be NFL, NBA, girlfriends and whatnot. Baby mamas. That's the end game. Why this chick ain't pregnant yet? Travis Kelsey ain't that dumb. These chicks that want to divest are a big fucking joke. They just show how shallow they are. They're looking for validation and acceptance from the Caucasian men and whatever demographic that it is that they're not happy on the inside. They're shallow and they're depressed. Looking for somebody else that's going to help them become a better person. Oh, I'm looking for somebody that's going to make me happy. Bitch, you're supposed to already be happy. And then I come into this situation happy and we're going to be too equally happy people and it can only get better from there all of these chicks with all of this baggage bro from all of these past relationships they're not worth it and they just showing it bro how many clips how many videos how many audios do you need to hear and see for you to just get the picture that majority not all but most are just something to just smash on a slow saturday night it is what it is bro but it's enough of that i'm out